Hey there, welcome back to Clip Studio Paint Quick Tips. My name is Scott Drummond and I'm a comic artist and illustrator. Today, we're gonna learn how to use the lettering tools in Clip Studio Paint. But hey, this is Quick Tips. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Lettering really is a whole art form in and of itself. We're not gonna be able to cover all the intricacies of it in this short video, but hey, we can get you a pretty good start. Now the first step to lettering is to leave room for it. You can see that I've left some open areas in my panels. Sometimes I'll even do some rough lettering while I'm sketching to make sure I leave enough room. Next up, we're gonna make a word balloon. Select the balloon tool on the toolbar and make sure the ellipse balloon is selected. Next, we click and drag the balloon tool where we want our text. We can use the Operation Object tool to adjust it once we've created it. And with it selected, we can change things like the brush size from the Tool Property window. Now, let's add some text to our balloon. Select the Text tool from the toolbar. You can use the Font dropdown to pick a font you like or have downloaded and installed. You can change the size here. Make sure it's not too big that it looks gigantic, but not too small that people have to squint to read it. 6.8 point seems to work great for me. If you want even more options, you can click the little wrench icon here on the bottom of the tool property menu. With the type tool selected, we can click inside the balloon and start typing our text. Clip Studio won't make any decisions for you on your line breaks, so try to design them so the space around your text sort of mirrors the balloon itself. So if your balloon is an ellipse, have the center lines be wider than the top and bottom lines. We can use the Operation Object tool to adjust the text container if we need to as well. Lastly, let's put a balloon tail on here. Go back to the Balloon tool and select Balloon Tail. In the Tool Property menu, we can adjust the width of the tail and how it's going to bend. I'm going to make sure I've got it set to Spline. Then, with my balloon layer selected, I'm going to click three times. Once inside the balloon, once to create the bend, and then I'm going to double click to finish off the tail. I can use the Operation Object tool to make any further adjustments that I need. I try to make my balloon tails point at my character's head, but never overlap their figure. And that's the basics. There's a ton of tips and tricks you can use to make your comic book lettering more professional. But that's a story for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there and make some great comics.